On the 1st of February 2022, the Finance Minister of India, Nirmala Sitaraman, made a shocking announcement that rocked the crypto world in India. A flat 30%. A flat 30%. A flat 30%. A flat 30%. This meant that any gains made from trading crypto or any virtual digital assets like NFTs attracted a flat 30% tax on it. To make things worse, a 1% TDS was further levied in July. After that, the whole sentiment around crypto in India just tanked. Trading on Indian exchanges fell by over 90%. There was a mass exodus to foreign crypto exchanges and 2022 was marked as one of the worst years in cryptocurrency. Now it's 2023 and the crypto market is showing a slight resurgence, trading at nearly $23,000 when we are recording this video. But all of this could change come 1st of February when the union budget is announced. So what to expect from this year's budget? Will there be another crypto bloodbath? And what happens if the crypto tax policy doesn't change? Let's take a look at all of this in this week's Web3 Wiki. The Indian government still hasn't been able to offer any clarity around cryptocurrency. The FTX collapse, money laundering and high volatility in crypto have made things even worse. Globally, countries like the US, UAE, Switzerland, Japan and even the UK are planning crypto regulation while El Salvador has started accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. Though these nations don't plan to let crypto run rampant, through regulation and sensible taxation, they are ensuring some checks and balances are in place so that the situation doesn't get out of their hands. In terms of crypto taxation, India has one of the highest crypto taxes in the world and the crypto industry experts believe that that needs to change. While last year's union budget was about recognizing virtual digital assets, this year should be about refinement. We support the government intention to track and trace VDAs. However, it is essential to implement progressive taxation policies which are at par with other asset classes. Because of high taxation, there has been a prodigious drop in trade volumes at domestic crypto exchanges. If this continues, they'll struggle more and would eventually be forced to either shut shop or move out of the country. Lack of regulations and continuous negative comments from regulators diminishes you know the trust of business in the uh, country the lack of clarity on regulations has already led to majority of indian startups shifting their bases to international countries and moreover the tax framework has also resulted in most investors you know shifting their capitals uh, their trading activities and their capital outside india this again is not a good sign for the industry as uh, domestic business will suffer from this so I think regulations is what uh, you know is primarily needed in and without regulations the uh, situation would be much difficult. And it's just not businesses that are moving offshore, it's also the money. A 2022 report by ISA says that almost $780 million moved from Indian to foreign exchanges between February to March 2022. More funds were moved between March to October in excess of almost $1 billion. This is a way for Indian investors to avoid paying these high taxes when they can route money through foreign exchanges, which is illegal, by the way. This is what we are seeing in India right now. Implementing a 30% tax and 1% TDS with no provision to offset losses have pushed consumers' money offshore into the grey markets, exposing them to regulatory issues. Crypto exchanges and businesses in India have been pushing for regulation, so there is some parity restored. India was one of the biggest adopters of crypto in 21-22, and that sentiment can only return if confidence is restored through changes in policy. Clear regulations on cryptocurrency exchanges and token sales will help provide a conductive environment for development of the industry. Uh, harmonizing the tax framework at par with stock market transactions like you know benefit of lower rate of tax for long term uh, investments benefit of set off and carry forward of losses etc so this is the second point and third reduction of tds rates will help boost liquidity and bring back the capital to india while this is an optimistic approach by indian exchanges there are a few experts who believe that the industry should prepare for the worst 
only because crypto has earned itself a bad name over the past couple of months. In the light of recent crypto scams and insolvencies, uh, the industry should anticipate more stringent regulations for the government. And what the crypto industry should do is they should move beyond advocacy and focus on use cases uh, which involve digital public goods. And that's the only reason, uh, that can be the only reason why the government would look forward to rationalizing taxation when it comes to crypto. Coinswitch Ashish believes that Indians should be incentivized to not take their money outside of the country. If the government wants to track the trail of crypto, the same can be done with lesser TDS. India has the opportunity to lead the new internet, Web 3.0, and with progressive regulations and fair taxation, we can achieve this together. This year's union budget could make or break it for the crypto industry in India. Will the 30% flat tax policy change or will it get worse? Will crypto be regulated? Log on to the crypto section on the India Today website for all the latest updates on crypto, blockchain and more from this year's budget.